Hi there, this is another quick highlight of a set of features we came up with this year. So one of the main advantages of ShapeLab is its ability to utilize real 3D space thanks to VR. This is great when you want to have a more lifelike sculpting experience rather than trying to create 3D assets in 2D. However, some operations can be done faster in desktop and it also serves as something familiar to the seasoned artist. Or maybe you could just rest your arms and head a little bit using it. So here I wanted to give a quick review of our desktop mode and support for the pen and tablet. First thing to see is that in the top right corner you can choose the mode that you're in. This way you can inspect while moving around in one mode and sculpt in the other. This is great if you want to showcase your work locally or maybe have a previous brainstorming session. Anyway, if you open up the app, you will already see the desktop mode. The desktop mode is going to have all the features the VR mode has, like the quick access wheel that you can bring up with space. But for all the hotkeys, please visit our help page. One thing I use the desktop mode for is renaming my objects. A scene can get really convoluted very quickly, so it's important for me to keep it neat in my outliner. Renaming it in VR doesn't feel the most natural, but as I might have to repeat this step, I also don't want to use another software. This is where desktop mode is a huge help, this way I can just switch modes and type it out with a keyboard. Getting around in the file browser, setting up your project, or using the transforms, these are all things where a mouse and a keyboard can be very helpful. And if we're at it, you can not only use mouse and keyboard, but we also have a pen and tablet support. If you have a pen that has tilt and pressure sensitivity, that also works if you take the pressure sensitivity mark near the strength slider. So I really hope you enjoy these features and if you haven't tried them out yet, please feel free to explore them and maybe tell us what you think, maybe tell us what you use it for uh, and how you make your workflow easier. For more content like this, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or join us on Discord. See you all in the next one.